back guys. It has been a minute. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me today. It's been a long time, so we're gonna get ready. I have my makeup right here, and I've got my coffee and my disgusting little wet beauty sponge, so we're gonna get started. I like to film these in my living room because the lighting is just too good. I can't just like give you guys bathroom lighting when I have this lighting at my disposal, so. I have um, just a little bit of Aquaphor on my face. That's what I use as a moisturizer, so that's the only thing I have on my skin right now. And the first thing I'm starting with is foundation, and I'm gonna be trying this one by El Maquillage. They sent it over, and this is like, has crazy like good reviews on the internet, so I'm just gonna like put it straight on this beauty sponge, and we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna start with one pump, and we'll add as needed. Color's a good match. They literally like had me take a quiz and just sent me this color and it's like perfect. Oh my God. This is like the reviews I see, like the, the girls being like, oh my God, it's a, such a perfect match. But actually like, it's really good. Um, I used their concealer cause they sent that to me a while back too, but I just haven't tried the foundation yet. Yeah, I haven't worn makeup in actually so long. Um, I just got over being sick, I had COVID which is like the first time I've ever had it. Yeah, I honestly like felt pretty okay most days. There's only one or two days where I had a fever and I felt like really achy and really sick, but the rest of the time I just like was bored because I couldn't leave and I was tired. But yeah, I'm happy to be over that. But I am really sad because I missed one of my best friend's bachelorette parties. I tested positive like the day before or like two days before maybe we were supposed to leave. And I was in Florida, so I did not get to go, but her wedding's also in Florida, so it'll be really fun. It's in October. Yeah, I'm just happy to be feeling better, feeling like getting ready, putting on some makeup, and feeling really like in a YouTube era. So like, get ready. I was in my YouTube area. area. I have not been in my YouTube era for a while. I've like, I don't know, I kind of got burnt out on it. It's been like five years I've been doing this in like four years consistently, like every week having a video up. And I just for some reason was like looking back into my analytics the other day. And hold on, let me get this concealer on so I can talk. Here's the concealer. So yeah, I was looking and I was looking at how many videos I posted in 2020 because I got really serious about YouTube and 2019 okay so like three years of being super consistent and serious about it um i was looking at how many videos i uploaded in 2020 which also it was a pandemic but i uploaded like a hundred and 120 videos 123 something crazy like that and i was grinding i didn't even realize how much i was grinding. like i didn't even realize at the time how hard i was going there were some weeks where I would post five videos. I'm like, where is that girl? I need her, where is she? So I don't think I'm gonna be posting five times a week, but I mean, I can do better than once every week or two. So yeah, so I looked and that's how much I did in 2020. In 2021, it was like 60 something. So like I really kind of fell off. And then this year I've only uploaded, it's halfway through the year, I've only uploaded 15 videos. So like, where is the 2020 energy is what I'm wondering. So I'm just like, that just kind of lit a fire under my ass to be honest. And I'm really grateful that the videos I have been posting are doing really well. So like income wise, it's not really making a dent, but I'm like, imagine how well I could be doing and what those checks could be looking like. Not that it's about the checks, but like just being honest, if I was, as consistent as I used to be before I was even getting paid. I wasn't even getting paid then. So I just thought it was kind of interesting and it inspired me. So yeah, I also have just like a lot of new video ideas and I'm just excited. Okay, I'm gonna set my face. I'm feeling like just like really re-inspired again and re-inspired to edit. And oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be the last video that you watch of mine on my phone. Like I always film on my phone. If you're an OG, you know that. And for how many ever years I've been filming on my phone and I finally ordered a camera. It's like my dream camera I've been wanting for so long. I actually did order it once and it like never showed up. So I just like got refunded. 
but like I waited months and months. I ordered it and it never came and I just ended up like canceling the order and I was like oh, maybe it's a sign like I don't need it because it's an expensive camera and I was like no Haley like you deserve this this is your job this is what you do so I ordered like my dream vlog camera and I'm probably going to use it for just like sit down videos too but I don't really do many sit down videos anymore but I'm so excited it's the Canon G7X Mark III and I got a refurbished one just, I don't know, just to make sure like I like it because I've never um, tried it except for like at Best Buy. So I'm so excited guys. The quality of my videos is about to be like another level. I'm just, um, by the way, setting my face with the little sliver of powder I have left from MAC. Um, so hopefully it works because I'm like scraping. I love that when I wear Aquaphor like as moisturizer, which is like all I've been wearing how dewy it makes me like when I put makeup on. I feel like I'm using pretty like mattifying products. By the way, I'm really liking this foundation. Um, it's pretty natural. I can still see my freckles through it, but I'm looking really even. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Physician's Formula and this is the Butter Bronzer, the shade Sunset, which is a little dark. Um, so I'm gonna be really careful with it. Pretty. Oh, let me give you guys, I know I, I can talk about in my last vlog, I talked about how Brad and I were doing like 75 hard and we made it to day 13. And we like, I don't know honestly what happened. I think either we forgot to take like a progress photo or we forgot to go on our walk, but we like literally just forgot something and never started it back up again. But I really liked it and I wanna do it again, but I don't wanna do like this, I don't wanna do 75 hard. Like I wanna make up my own version that like I can feel disciplined and like I have a routine, but that's not, doesn't feel so restrictive because restricting myself like with my diet is just very like triggering to me. Like I've never struggled with food really, but I feel like I should keep it that way and I shouldn't restrict myself because I've always been an intuitive eater. And so it's just like, didn't sit right with me like the whole like follow a specific diet. So I think I'm gonna like come up with my own type of version of it. Like maybe like, still do like the go on a walk every day but if you are sore or, like if your body needs a rest like maybe don't work out like I also didn't like that aspect of it because I have like a lower back injury like a chronic lower back injury and like there was one day where I was literally crying like I don't want to work out today like my back hurts so bad I just want to go on a walk and yeah so just little flaws with it like that but overall I really did like how I felt during it so I think I'm gonna come up with my own version. If you guys have any other ideas, let me know. But yeah, so we made it to 13 days. Um, and if you don't know what 75 hard is, I'll put like the little information thing right there. It's like a bunch of like things. It's like a 75 day like program. It was a MAC day today. I don't know my Kylie blushes that I always wear. So I'm just gonna wear this MAC blush. This was my favorite back in the day. This is Melba. Can you guys believe this used to just be a makeup channel? That's like so funny to me. Cause I only do one look now, like ever. And I used to like be pulling these makeup looks out of my ass and I'm like, where did you get that? Like I probably just copied Jaclyn Hill. Cause I wanted to be her and I thought that she was like the blueprint, her and like Carly. I wanted to be like a beauty guru so bad, but now like this is it and this is all you're getting. <laughs> I do though, I was watching some of my old YouTube videos the other day and like the way my voice has changed. For one, I know that now I'm just speaking in my natural voice and when I used to film, like I would put on this like facade because I thought I needed to be so bubbly and like, hey guys, welcome back, like really cringe, honestly. But I can't even be mad at, at her. She was just doing her best. Um, but I think it's so funny like, in one of my favorites videos, I literally sound like I'm from the South and I'm not, I'm from the Midwest. I have lived in Nashville before and I have family that lives there, but like I've never had a Southern accent, but apparently I kind of did like, because it sound, li listening to it, it sounds like how my mom and my grandma talk and like, there's nothing wrong with that, but I just don't live near them anymore. And like, I like, obviously when you live with people, like you pick up on their dialect and I just thought it was so funny, like how I talked. It was insane. Please don't go back and watch. Like this is not an invitation for you to go watch my old videos. 
but I was just like, holy crap, like, are you from the deep south? Which is so funny. So, I don't know. It's just funny how things change. Like, my voice has 100% changed. Like, I can even, like, I can tell my real voice through the old videos, like, through, like, the fake voice. And I'm like, honey, you are... I had a twang, so... I think I'm very much more like Valley Girl now, but I don't know where that came from. Probably from like TikTok. I'm listening to like What We Said podcast. So I'm gonna do some eyeshadow just with this bronzer. And then I will do a little like shadow liner. I did a, not a brand deal, but like I did UGC, um, which is like user generated content creation for El Maquillage yesterday. They, ha they send you like, I work with them like on a long-term basis and they send over um like a huge brief of like what you need to record and like, all the shots and like it's kind of like acting in a way but not really you got to put your own creative spin on it and it's for like their ads or what I don't know honestly what they use everything for I've seen myself in a couple Instagram ads but um they had me do it for their mascara and for, for first of all I really love the mascara but also like a liquid liner and I used to be like a liquid liner queen. Like I would always do like a sharp wing and like I was really good at liquid liner. Like I had been using it since like seventh grade. So when it became popular, like in the beauty guru days, um, I was already really good at it. And I have not touched liquid liner in years. And me trying to film that yesterday, I was like, up, like you just send them raw footage. I was like apologizing to the editor being like, I'm so sorry, like, I don't know why I cannot apply this, and I finally did get it, but I was, like, having the hardest time, and it's just funny, like, that used to be my jam, because I always just do, like, shadow liner now, and it's so different to apply it in, like, with a pen, just adding some to the lower lash. This is so fun, guys. Why don't I sit down and do this more? Okay, for liner, I'm going to be using my, you already know, Baked Browns palette from Dose of Colors. This is so old, I don't even know if you can get it anymore. Um, if you, I, I always link everything that I use, um, in every video, even if it's, like, a book or, like, my coffee machine. Like, if you, if you go onto the description box of my videos, you'll see everything I, like, talk about or show linked down below. So, same with makeup. I'll always link everything if I can find it. And if I can't, then I will link something that's, like, really similar. I know good dupes from my Ulta days, so I can hook you up. Just go down to the description. Okay, I'm just taking this like straight across brush. So I'm just kind of stamping. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take it and line it up with my lower lash and just kind of flick up very lightly. I'm barely touching. And then I'm just gonna connect. And then bring it down and that's it how easy that one it's seldom that this one is kind of better than that one but i'll take it okay so these are the mascaras that i filmed for yesterday and i really liked this one this is the icon mascara i finished mascara i think it looks really good i ended up doing one coat of the O oh, Maquillage Icon, and then I went over it with the L'Oreal Telescopic, and then I just fanned them out with the Icon one more time. So, three coats total, and it looks really good. So I'm gonna be highlighting my inner corner, nose, and brow bone with MAC um, Whisper of Guilt, which is like, classic. So, use this little brush. Ugh, this is my favorite freaking part of makeup right here. Makes your nose look so cute. You, like, you can't beat it. It looks so good. Okay. Okay, so last major step is brows, and I do soap brows. Don't mind this disgusting box, but this is the Pears, or Pears, whatever, soap. Um, literally get it on a two-pack on Amazon for, like, $5. So I went ahead and got this wet and my brush wet, and I'm going to show you how I do my soap brows. So first, I'm just going to comb everything up just kind of lightly and just kind of get them, like, in the shape I want. And then I'm going to take my soap and... Just kind of like get some off of there. You don't want it to be too wet because then it's gonna like suds up on your skin. So like about that much is pretty good. 
And then what I'm gonna do is start to comb through and kind of like roll and press down like that until we like get a good shape that we like. And I like mine super fluffy and like a little crazy like that. And then I'll just kind of push on it. And that is how I do my soap brows. And like some days it takes longer to perfect but I think today is pretty good. Cute, okay. So I'm just gonna let this kind of sit for a second. I'm just gonna add a little lip and we're gonna be done. So for lip, I'm gonna be using these two. This is the Merit Lip Oil in Pink Beat and then the Maybelline Filter Gloss in Opal, which I think I'm a little allergic to, but it looks good. I just like feel a tingling in my throat when I wear it, but it's fine. So I'm not even lining. I don't have a lip liner right now, which is so random. Or like all the ones I have are like dark, so they're like not in my makeup bag. So that's how pretty, so pretty. And then I put this over top. Cause this actually dries down like semi-matte, so. I like to bring back some glossiness, it looks so cute. Another option for brows, just while I'm here. Yeah, you could take a little like fiber thing with some color if you wanted to darken them. Cause I'm looking and on camera, they look super like light almost. And I just do this right over the soap so lightly. Like I usually even wipe this thing off first. If you can see, like it's already giving some depth and I don't like them very dark, but I just think that looks a lot better. And this is also from El Maquillage. I did a brow campaign with them too. Um, and this is Coco and the Hypnotize Fill and Fix Brow Shaper. Run this over just to even out any color because it doesn't completely go into the brow because the soap is kind of like a seal. So I'm just kind of like spreading it out a little. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and put on an outfit. I'll show you guys my outfit. And yeah, I'm going to go like work at a coffee shop today. So I want to look cute and I'll be right back. Okay, my hair took way longer than I wanted it to and I don't even like it that much, like it, it's fine. But I haven't put heat on my hair in like two months and I would say this is not worth it. Um, so yeah, here's the final look. This is my literal favorite shirt my friend Christine gave it to me. And it's so soft and so comfortable. And let me move you guys down so I can show you the bottom half because that's my favorite part. Got a little black bag, hold on. Okay, so here's the skirt and I thrifted this a couple weeks ago it's so comfortable and i think it's like vintage urban outfitters because the tag looks super old and it feels really worn but it's so soft and really cute and then best part these freaking boots these are from a store called pataya um and my friend works there and so she told me about these and i knew i had to have them because they're amazing but yeah this is the full outfit let me see if i can scoot back so you can see I don't know if you can still see me, but here it is, and I think it's really cute. So yeah guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for getting ready with me today. Let me know if you want more Get Ready With Me's or like what kind of vibe you're feeling for my YouTube era, what you want to see. And everything that I talked about will be linked down below. I'll link dupes for everything that I can't find. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!